guys Katie is here and in this video I will show you how you can download, install and use presets from my website. You can be sure that this algorithm works for any presets from the website so please don't pay attention on the names and titles of the presets as it can be done with any preset you will download. So let's start with Lightroom Classic and I will show you how you can add presets into the Lightroom. As you can see I'm in library section right now. So I select the photo and go into the develop section. From the left hand you can see preset section and here we need to click on plus icon and choose import presets. If you already downloaded presets from the website, in the folder you will see two zip files. For this method of installation presets, you will need a zip file that have in the title installation with desktop. So double click on the zip file and all presets will automatically appear in your preset section. They are organized in the group, so you need to click on the arrow to explore all presets inside. Now we will show you how you can adjust the presets, especially for your photography. For this I use only basic section that allows me to change exposure, contrast, highlight, shadows, whites and blacks of the photo. All presets has a black and white balance set up on as a shot, but if you have a wrong white and black balance of your photo, please feel free to adjust it right here. Also I recommend you to save new presets with your new adjustments to the group, for this just click on the plus icon, create preset, choose a new name and just click create. And as you see this preset appears inside the group right near the previously added presets. In second method I'm going to show you how to add presets inside the Lightroom and synchronize the Lightroom with the Lightroom application so presets could appear in your mobile version of Lightroom. For this open Lightroom on your desktop and select the photo you're going to edit. Here on the right hand you will see the icon which opens all presets and you need to click on three dots and choose import presets. Double click on the zip files that have in the title installation for desktop and all presets will appear right away in the Lightroom desktop version but keep the eye on synchronizing process as only after synchronized is finished you can open your Lightroom application on the phone and find presets. For this open the photo, click on the preset icon, go inside your preset and find the folders that have the name of the preset you downloaded. If you prefer to use only font for installation the presets, I will show you the third method which I don't recommend you as it takes much more time and energy, but perhaps you're using only Lightroom mobile applications, so that is how you can download and install presets using your phone. So when you have access to the zip file with the presets, be sure to find the zip files that answer to installation with a phone in the title and choose any available method for you to save the zip file on your phone. Then double click on the zip file and open the folder with all presets. Due to the specific format of all presets for the mobile, you can see all presets like a photos. So now is your task to open every single photo and save it into your gallery. And I have to mention that in gallery you will see photos that will look like unedited photos, but please don't worry and don't be confused. This is the way how the presets will look like inside the album, but when you will import them in the Lightroom application, they will appear like an edited photos. Now open the first photo and and it will be considered by the Lightroom application that this photo is edited with a preset and click on three dots and choose create a preset. Here you need to give a name for your preset and choose the group where it will be saved. And now exactly the same steps you need to make with every next photo, so you just open the photo Click on three dots, choose create a preset, give a name to the preset, add it to the group and continue to do with the next photos just the same. As I told you, this method takes more time and energy. Now open your own photo and go inside the presets, yours and find the group with the created presets and choose the preset that works the best for your option. 